Hey guys, it's Brian Mounts again, coming to you from the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. I also run turfmechanic.com, and I talk a lot about battery-powered lawnmowers and other lawn and garden equipment, and also tending to the grass here on my channel and over on my website. Today I wanted to talk to you about two of the uh, highest-end battery-powered lawnmowers on the market today. There's a handful of them. I'm doing a series of comparisons like this over on the uh, the channel and the website so you can take a look at some of the other comparisons that I have also published. These two, however, are a couple of my favorites. Um, I've got the Snapper XD. This is an 82 volt uh, machine. Uh, it runs at uh, 2800 RPMs and it's uh, the 19 inch model runs at 1000 watts. The 21 inch model runs at 1200 watts. Uh, this is the Greenworks Pro. This is the 80 volt, 21 inch self-propelled model. Um, this unit is basically the same voltage as the Snapper. Uh, it's basically about the same price range. Um, I had to purchase this uh, as a, I couldn't buy it as a package. Uh, I had to buy the mower by itself. Then I had to buy the two, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the charger by itself and the four amp hour battery by itself. Combined, I spent, uh, I believe it was $638 for this machine uh, and, you know, the components to make it work. Um, the snapper, if you're getting the 21-inch self-propelled with the um, five, I'm sorry, the, uh, the two, two 2.0 amp hour batteries, so two batteries combined equals four amp hours. This is the four amp hour. So I don't know, you have to swap the batteries out to get to four, but point being, it's basically the same and that's gonna run you somewhere around 600 bucks, um, depending on sales and how you're, you know, where you're shopping from, which store. Um, all said and done, the price range of these things is very similar. Uh, so if you're getting top of the line snapper, top of the line Greenworks Pro 80 volt, um, you're paying just tens of dollars difference depending on uh, the situation and uh, your sale finding abilities. I love this lawnmower. I love this. This mower is extremely strong. Um, it's stronger than um, just about anything else out there in the battery powered market. Uh, the 21 inch model that you're looking at the 19 right now, the 21 inch model, you're going to be getting a faster uh, RPM, um, a faster tip speed on the blade, simply because the blade is longer and the RPMs are the same. Um, the mower with the 82 volt and the 1200 um, 1200 wattage that uh, the current comes through at um, is about as strong as it gets. Uh, I've never bogged it down. I've never stalled it in the grass. Um, out front, I've got even thicker kind of weedy grass. Uh, it's not really a manicured yard. Um, it's rough terrain. It's never stalled. Um, same thing with this one. Honestly, it has never stalled. I've pushed this through extremely thick, um, I'm gonna call it foliage on the ground, and uh, it just never stalls. It's, this thing is a beast. It's stronger than the gas-powered mower that I used last year, um, which was stalling left and right. Uh, Price-wise, these battery mowers are top of the line. Uh, there are a couple units out there uh, from different models or different brands that are more expensive than these. Um, not too long from now, I'm going to be publishing uh, some comparisons and reviews of the Yard Force machine. Uh, it's a 120 volt machine that costs more than these. Um, I'm hoping that it feels and acts stronger. Um, we'll see about that. You can check those videos out when they come, uh, when, I, when I am able to release them. Um, but in any event, these things are stronger than the gas machines that I've been using in years past. Uh, they do cost more too. You can get some pretty pricey gas machines, but on average, a good quality top of the line gas machine without getting extreme is going to be cheaper than these. Um, so these are hefty investments. What I would say is if you flipped a coin, you would be just fine. And I don't think you would be missing anything out. I think these two machines are about as comparable as possible. 
if they didn't look physically different, um, I would almost wager to say that they were the exact same machine. Uh, they certainly are not. Uh, there is some differences in the design, uh, the shape, um, slight motor differences. Greenworks literally does not publish. I have tried to find out um, the wattage that the motor uh, runs at. I can't find it. It's not in the manual. I can't find it online. I can't find it on the Greenworks official website. I've got to guess that it's probably 1,000 or 1,200 watts um, because that's what the other top of the line machines are. Ego, their top of the line select cut machine runs at 1,000 watts. This is 1,200. Um, or at least I should say the 21 inch model is, is 1,200. So it's got to be up in that range, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Um, I think a lot of other people would like to know as well. Uh, this Greenworks has literally been out for, I don't know, a couple years or so, um, possibly a little bit longer, um, maybe dating back to 2018, 2017. Um, I didn't research that, but I do know that it's been out for a couple years. Uh, I know also that this Greenworks model um, is actually being upgraded. Um, winter of 2020, kind of in the January time frame of 2020, uh, Greenworks started selling a 60 volt, uh, new generation uh, 60 volt battery mower. Uh, so it seems like it might not be as powerful, but it is supposed to be a high capacity battery, uh, more efficient. And, uh, and then it's got some, some features on it that um, I haven't physically tried yet because I don't own it. Um, it's on my, well, it's going to be coming later this summer. Um, so that's another set of videos that uh, you get to look forward to. Please subscribe and you'll be able to watch those when they come out, hopefully sooner than later. Um, that 60 volt thing has a, um, a button on it, a turbo button is what I'm calling it. I don't know what they call it in their marketing materials, but uh, the turbo button allows you to press the button and it will draw max uh, power um, at the touch of a button. All of these mowers, they're rated to run at, or at least these two mowers are rated to run uh, the blade on a no load situation. So, you know, like if you just like tip it up and turn it on, there's no load. It's not cutting anything and it's just wind resistance. So that no load situation, the blade is supposed to be turning at 2800 RPMs. Uh, same thing for this one. In the real world, the blade is hitting grass. So there is a, uh, there's drag, it's a, you know, it's a load. It's a light load in this situation because this grass is kind of short. Uh, but if I were to let it grow thick or tall or cut it in kind of a wet condition, maybe like right after a rain or in the morning after the sprinklers went off, it's harder for that blade to go through it. So when the load gets heavy, uh, the blade starts slowing down. And once it slows down enough, then, uh, I'm going to call it some magical fairy. I don't know, some computer system in here uh, senses that the load is getting too strong. The blade is spinning too uh, slow and it starts drawing more current out of that battery, which of course speeds up the, uh, the you know, the battery's decline over that one cut. So you're going to end up uh, only being able to cut for, you know, less amount of time, um, but it will draw that current so that the blade speed can get back up to the, uh, the 2800 RPMs. What I would like to see, which is what the Greenworks uh, 60 volt is gonna have, is the ability to draw that extra current um, at the touch of a button. And to me, it's not necessarily necessary to get through thin, not thin, but you know, short grass like this. It's really necessary for me to have a better mulching experience. So what you're seeing here in the yard this is my, I'm going to call it my manicured yard. Um, this yard is kind of small. It's about 2,500 square feet. I've got about an acre of, of grass that I cut, but the manicured part of, this, of the yard is only 2,500 square feet. I don't need a monster battery to get through it all. This is only a two amp hour battery, and I can go through this whole yard on just one battery. I don't even have to swap it out. So if I could take, if I could get more current out of that battery to have max power the whole time, I could mulch better.
So both of these machines, they do really well. They will mulch well. They don't mulch as well as say the, um, uh, the Ego Select Cut. The Ego Select Cut kind of has a crisscross double blade. Uh, it's one blade that goes around, but it's, it's two blades sandwiched together. So they go around in tandem. Uh, so each revolution, there's basically more cutting surface space and plus they're stacked. So the, each rev cuts more grass. There's just more cutting that happens. So the mulching is just better. These will mulch very good, but not quite as good. Uh, if I could get more revs, more power continuously, then these would perform better. So that's why I'm looking forward to that 60 volt version. These guys um, still do a fantastic job. Uh, whenever I cut uh, the grass, I don't see any clumping on the ground. I don't have lots of large bits, um, you know, blowing out onto, you know, onto the patio over there. I don't have lines of uh, grass clippings uh, along the wheel marks. Um, now, granted, I don't ever cut on the highest setting. So, you know, if you pick it all the way to the top, I suppose it's possible, but I, I've never done that to be brutally honest. So, um, if that's your thing, you also let me know in the comments down below um, how they perform in that situation. Um, these guys both have, uh, well, this is the 19 inch model, so it doesn't have the self propelled. The 21 inch does, 21 inch does have the self propelled. Um, that's another uh, machine that I'm planning on getting later this summer. It's, I'm going to fully replace this one. I love this mower, but I wish I would have sprung back in March when I bought this thing, I wish I would have just sprung for the self-propelled uh, because, just because, uh, uh, this has ended up being an amazing mower and I, I wish I had the self-propelled 21 inch model because it actually is stronger, it draws more wattage. In any event though, this handlebar situation is kind of like old school, it's just regular, um, it's a regular bar. Um, you know, you can undo it and fold it up just like you can like, old-fashioned uh, gas-powered mowers. Same thing with this one. These don't have those fancy handles that you find on Ego and even some of the really nice 40-volt uh, uh, models out there. I think even Ryobi uh, at Home Depot has a nice fancy uh, fold-up system. Uh, these will fold up just fine. Uh, they'll stand vertically just like the other fancy ones. It's just, it takes you, I don't know, like 30 extra seconds to do it, maybe not even that much. Um, what's funny though is, I mean, Ego is, is also expensive. Ego is in the same price range as this uh, for their select cut model with the self-propelled. Um, in that way of looking at it, the little creature comforts of the easy fold is a nice selling point, but it is a physically larger machine and it's not quite as strong as these guys. So, uh, I have used both of these for bagging. Uh, they bag just fine. There's nothing particularly special about the way that they bag. Uh, stock blades that come on both of them um, are not designed to be ultra efficient at bagging. They're just, they're just good. Um, I haven't experimented with um, uh, extra blades. Um, some of the lawnmowers, you can literally buy a special blade specifically for, uh, for suction and lifting it up and uh, in bagging purposes. Um, I haven't experimented with those. I do like um, the battery situations on these, both of these batteries. These are uh, next gen um, uh, lithium ion batteries. They charge extremely fast. Um, basically as fast as you can run them out, that's as fast as they charge. Uh, the Greenworks does charge slightly slower than this one. I've noticed that um, just through experience in the garage. I haven't measured the difference, but uh, it, I can charge uh, four amp hours of these batteries faster than I can charge four amp hours of this one. Um, I also like uh, in the snapper on the battery compartment, there's a little, um, uh, gauge, gas gauge, battery uh, fullness gauge. Uh, it's got four dots on it, which essentially means 
or four lights on it, which essentially means, you know, 25% increments of battery. On the Greenworks, there's only three. So if you got one bar, you don't know if you're down at 10% or 30% battery. Um, so it's nice to have the extra increments on the battery. Um, all of these have the option of side discharge. All of these, both of them. They all have, uh, they both have uh, mulch plugs and bagging capabilities. Um, generally speaking, these are fantastic. Um, I love this mower. I just do. Um, having said that, these two are about as similar as they get. Um, if I were to buy again and knowing that they're only a 10 to $50 apart in price, I might actually just buy this one. Um, despite the fact that I love this one so much, I would probably buy this one simply because, uh, it's easier to find the big battery. So snapper right now, I, like I said, I have two 2.0 amp hour batteries on snapper's website and some of, uh, some of their dealers websites they show that they uh, offer a two a four and a five amp hour battery the problem is i can't find the big five amp hour battery i can't find it for sale anywhere i'm sure it's for sale somewhere um, and i'm not dedicating my life to finding it but um, but it's harder to find so i've got these smaller batteries which you have to swap out so anything bigger than about 2500 square foot of yard space you're gonna end up having to swap out the batteries on these things. Um, this one, you don't have to, just because it's it's easy to find the four amp hour battery. Um, I bought this whole package uh, separately on Amazon, three separate purchases to get it all put together. Um, it would be nice if, I, if it was easy to find kind of as a big lump. Right now it's the middle of the summer, so lots of things are in back order. Um, so that might be part of it. If you're watching this video in say like February um, or October, things might be different. But um, I greatly recommend either of these. Um, I have a full video on, on well, I've got a I got multiple videos comparing head-to-head -head matchups to a number of these high-end ultra strong battery mowers. I hope you take a look at some of them if you're shopping around. Um, I buy these. Like I'm not giving them. I'm not paid to do this. What I am paid to do is my own, like I pay myself. I purchase these things, I use them, I use them on my yard, I use them, test them out there. Um, and I just give you the information you need to know. I don't care if you buy this or this or something else. I just want you to feel comfortable because these things are extremely expensive to be buying. Uh, they're big investments. Uh, over the past couple months, I've spent, almost four grand on battery mowers just for the purpose of using them in my yard, testing them and making videos like this for the YouTube channel and for my website. So just go ahead, if you're still shopping around, um, take a look at some of the links below, go over to Google, search for Turf Mechanic, Strongest Battery Mowers. You'll find my large review of them all. Um, and I'm expanding that all the time. Every new mower that I try is going on there. Um, I feel like you're gonna get all of the information that you need. If you feel like I'm not providing the answer to your question, just leave it in the comments and I will try my very best to answer it as accurately as possible. Uh, hit the subscribe button, please. That really helps me recoup some of my investment costs um, if you're feeling like shopping around, hit my affiliate links on some of these products. They don't all go to Amazon. Some go to Home Depot, some go to here, some go to there. Um, I got a mower coming in the mail from uh, uh, Mowers Direct. Uh, I don't get any, I don't get paid anything from them. Uh, but if you want some of their mowers, that's where you can find them. Some of them are only available there. So, um, this is my business, please support me. Thank you very much. And I hope that you will watch one of my following up uh, videos, either the one here on the screen or any of the ones coming up in your subscription feed. Thanks for watching.